All right guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna be doing a little more work to the 14 and a half inch Colt clone build. And today we're gonna be getting the correct front sling mount installed. And the, the correct one is the side mount that used to come on, I think all the Colts, uh, even you know the 16 inch, 69, 20s and all that. I guess it kind of used to be a standard. And then they switched uh, to the more traditional ones right here that uh, mount right there to the bottom, but this one didn't even come with that. Um, but the one we got here is a true uh, Colt brand, and it comes in multiple different pieces, and we are gonna have to put this together. But essentially what this is gonna do is mount around it like that, then you have your piece that goes around on the back, and then of course the part that the sling attaches to. So what we've gotta do is a couple steps. We're gonna have to get this piece installed on it and we got to use the rivet that you have to kind of mushroom out on the other side to hold that in place. So we'll do that first and then we'll get this thing put on the rifle with a couple of these roll pins. So let me get set up, we'll get this thing installed and uh, we'll start putting this rivet in. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is get the actual sling loop itself installed onto this main bracket piece and we've got to do that by installing this rivet and then once it's through, mushroom this side out and that will kind of hold all of this stuff together. And you can see right here where the actual sling loop itself goes. It's gonna go through here like this and then we'll drop the rivet down in it. Now we're over here on the vise, that way I have a, uh, a hard flat surface to put this on and then use a center punch to, uh, to start mushrooming this thing out and then we'll pound it down. So I've never done this before, so we're gonna do this together for the first time and hopefully all goes well, but we're just going to put that in there like that and then we'll drop the rivet down in and through. Okay, just like that. So you can see there is the top of the rivet, it's inside of it, and then you can see here where it comes through on that back side, and that's what we've got to kind of mushroom out and flatten down, and then that rivet will hold this in. So I'm gonna get this set up on a flat surface the best that I can, probably right here like this. That way the rivet doesn't come out, and then I will take a center punch, and we'll tap this thing and uh, get it flattened out. Okay, so I got this lined up and I got the center punch on it. We're just gonna give it a good whack with the hammer and hopefully it starts flaring this thing out and all goes well, so here we go. Okay, so as you can see, it did start to open that thing up. Now I'm just gonna take a punch and uh, try to get a flat punch and we'll finish putting this thing down. Okay, so now I got a big wide flat punch it should cover the whole rivet and i know it's a little bit overkill for this job but it's the only thing i could find that was wider and flatter and we'll go ahead and give this a smack and hopefully that will even everything out okay so i don't know how well you can see that there um, it's definitely flat all the way around and it looks like everything is holding nice and tight and so i would say that that is a successful install so now let's get it put on the rifle Okay, so now we're gonna get this thing put on the rifle and it's gonna go right here underneath your front sight base. Now, I'm just showing you on this side kind of how it goes on, but there is, you know, how it's gonna be right there on there just like that. But I want this on the other side since I am right-handed, so I'm gonna swap this over, slide it on this way. Now, you're gonna have this piece here, which is gonna go over the top of this and then you have these two holes where you have two roll pins that you're gonna to have to drive through and that's what's gonna hold everything together. So we're gonna sit this over top of it, right there just like that, so you can kinda of see how it goes. And then a roll pin up top and a roll pin on the bottom. So now all we gotta do is find out the best way to get these roll pins started. Okay, so as you can see right here, I do have both of the pins started, and I'm gonna be straightforward with you guys. This is kind of a pain to, uh, to get this thing installed, and you're gonna wish that you had a third hand. So if you have somebody there that's able to help you hold this stuff in place, uh, I highly recommend asking them to help you. But what I did 
was I took this clamp here and I went around the back side and around this side and clamped this together because these pieces are, you know, of two pieces and it wants to kind of fall off and move around when you're trying to put these pins in because you're going to need both hands for the pin and this thing is going to want to fall out. So if you don't have an extra person, get yourself a clamp and hold this thing on together and uh, it, it'll definitely help you. But I did put some oil on the pins, got both of them started and it's going on very, very tight, which it sucks putting it on, but it's very good. Um, you know, it's nice to know that this is going to be very tight. So I'm just going to take a hammer and a punch and um, a roll pin punch. And I'm going to start driving these things the rest of the way in. So with a little bit of patience, we finally have the roll pins in. And as you can see, we got the one on the top, the one on the bottom, and this thing is rock solid, not moving around or anything like that. And then here on the other side, you'll see that we have our sling loop right here. And again, fits nice and snug and uh, should be an excellent sling mount. All right guys, so there is the install of the Colt uh, front sling mount, the side sling mount that is correct for the clone build that I'm doing. And uh, this thing is rock solid. It should be an excellent sling mount. It is a little bit tricky to get installed, especially if you're doing it by yourself. Uh, but just take your time, be patient with it, use a clamp if you have to, and uh, it will go right together and give you a nice rock solid uh, sling mount. And for those of you wondering, here is the part number. I did get it from Brownells. And... Um, you know, an excellent source for all different types of stuff. I buy a ton of stuff uh, from Brownells, but there is the part number if you're interested. I'll leave a link down below also if you are interested. Uh, but anyhow, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions or comments about this video or anything else you see here on the channel, ask those in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get back with you. And before you take off, make sure you check the description box. I've got links to channel sponsors and social media and all different types of stuff. So always check that out before you take off. And as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys watching and we'll catch you in the next one.